like, okay, I'm going to have the same lyric three times, but don't worry because I'm going to sing it in a different way every single time because I'm Corey freaking Taylor. Hello, it's Lauren and time for Corey Taylor. I can't, you know, I'm too excited to even have a, a composed intro. I'm just like, let's just push the play button right now, which I'm sure you would be happy about, but... You know, I have to talk a little bit first. I recognize this telephone pole. We're back to their first album. Get Inside, Orchids, Bother. That might be it that I know from this one. If you're new around here, welcome. I love Corey Taylor, which you will find out here very soon. Actually, you could probably already pick up on that because, you know, I couldn't even get the sentence out that I was doing a Stone Sour song today. This song won the poll. It was a landslide victory for this song. I'm guessing it's a good one. Although I haven't heard a bad Stone Sour song yet. So I guess that's it. I have my lyrics. I have my song. Ready for the Corey Freakin' Taylor magic today. Bring it on. And again, I never know with Stone Sour. Is it going to be heavy, light, medium? <laughs> Let's end the suspense. Okay, wait, sorry, six seconds. I don't know if that was on purpose or if my headphones had a little glitch happening. I'm gonna start it over. It was on purpose. <laughs> freaking Taylor I mean <laughs> I don't even know he started with a major angry Corey note and then he went straight into melodic Corey and I don't know if he's gonna go back to angry Corey or not I thought maybe um the chorus he would switch over again but he's still in melodic mode so I don't know but I'm up for anything all right I'm just gonna keep it where it is to go out on a limb and say that stylistically one voice over here one voice over here was on purpose it's almost like he's having a conversation with himself because the one I can't take it anymore the other is like you got to try so it's almost like that internal struggle love that I'm a big fan of the internal struggle 
this kind of a song lyrically is just so much more powerful to me than a lot of other things. <laughs> just, you know. At this point, I just say the same exact thing in every single video I do. So something, I feel like something's about to happen. What? I don't know. Let's get into it. I am going to go back a little bit, just a little. like an emotional response to that that was so sad it was like oh that second someone tell me line he's like okay I'm gonna have the same lyric three times but don't worry because I'm gonna sing it in a different way every single time because I'm Corey freaking Taylor I'm sure that's what he says when he's writing his lyrics it's like I could pull this off I'm Corey freaking Taylor no problem but yeah, I have to hear that again. Oh, that was, that was like a, just, just, oh, tear my heart out. Corey, what are you doing to me? He was like full on angry Corey there. I had a feeling he was going to be coming in. But then he got all like, oh, just tragic. <laughs> just, that would have been like the most tragic sounding. Let me try to think. Maybe in, um, I want to say... Liar's Funeral, probably. I think he kind of sounded like that in Liar's Funeral. running out of steam. Love the end. That was super cool. Now, what I just noticed, because when I do these lyrics, I just Google it. I just Google the lyrics because that's what I do. And at the bottom, it always tells me who wrote the song, which I find interesting. But what I find most interesting is at the bottom of this song, Corey freaking Taylor did not write this song. Did you know that? Assuming this is correct, we got Josh, Sean, not clown guy, and Joel, and no Corey Taylor. He did not write the song. What's with that? What's with that? It doesn't make me like it any less. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just kind of surprised. This was nominated for a Grammy in 2002. Well, this album came out in 2002. 2002, wow. This is a prime example of a song that I thought was just okay when it started. And then by the end, I'm like, yeah. Yep. And it has nothing to do with Angry Corey. It has nothing to do with that, um, what did I call that? Tragic Corey? What did I call that? I don't even remember. The chorus itself is sort of, it grew on me throughout the course of the song. It happens sometimes, and this is an example of that happening. So I'm going to listen to it again, and by then, who knows? It might be my favorite song of all time. 
Probably not, but I'm going to listen to it regardless. So I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back, and I have something controversial to share with you. And I'm not sure <laughs> if I even believe it. I'm on the fence with my own opinion. But I'm just thinking, Angry Corey feels a little out of place in this song. If my opinion has changed on that, I'm telling you right now, right here at the bottom. I didn't really notice it in my first listen, but the second listen, I mean, the song has a certain feel to it and the message of it. And then Angry Corey comes, and I know why Angry Corey comes, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to fit. And as I'm saying it, I'm like questioning it. That's why I'm sort of like, eh, I don't know. I just think a song like this should have stayed the same Corey, not switched to Angry Corey. Sorry, I was just having a coughing fit. I'm not crying. and <laughs> I'm crying just thinking of Angry Corey. No, I was just, I started coughing for no reason whatsoever. Um, so I don't know if you agree with that. I don't even know if I agree with that. But that's just sort of an idea that I had when I was listening. Second thing, I did a little research while I was listening the second time because I wanted to see what came after this. If that sort of, um, that fade out thing they did goes into the next one. And the next one is Bother which of course I know that song. This song going into that song is like, you know, pretty <laughs> deep, heavy, whatever. I like it. It's Corey Taylor, so obviously. You know, I will be listening to this again. It will go on my Corey freaking Taylor playlist. So thank you for voting in this poll. I will do another poll for the next Stone Sour song. And I'll just pick three more titles and we'll, we'll do another one because, you know, I'm loving all the Stone Sour and I need more of it. I need more Corey Taylor in my life. Some of you may disagree with that, but <laughs> there's never enough Corey freaking Taylor in your life. Come on now. So uh, that does it for me today. I'm going to get out of here before I say anything else crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and maybe I'll see you for another one.